Hey Scott, how you doing? Hey Tony, how's it going? Oh, it's just so so nice to have the wrap up of the golf tournament. You know, it's so much anticipation leading up to it, and here we are, a few days removed. It's what a success! Our fifth annual for the Austin tournament. Wow! So that was our uh, our first ever fundraiser was uh, was this golf tournament five years ago. So how exciting! Wow! But, uh, we just had our fifth one. Where has the time gone? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. You tell me, but amazing. Uh, we had a full course out there, uh, sold out tournament, uh, great day of golf. I think everyone really had a, had a great time. Um, want to, uh, we have several people we want to thank for being there, right? Absolutely, yeah. We had just an amazing crew of people out there. Um, and you know, the golf tournament, it really all starts with all the support and our big sponsors. I mean, we had, I mean, talk about getting really fortunate this year. We had Tito's as our platinum sponsor. Uh, Tito's Vodka, I mean, we can't thank you guys enough, and GQR Healthcare, our good friends Kathy and Sam, I mean, they really stepped up to the plate for us as our gold sponsors. It was awesome to have you guys out there. And of course, Texas Oncology, our big corporate partner, uh, they financially supported us in this tournament in a big way, and sure means a lot to have all of them on board with us. Absolutely. Yeah, big thanks to you guys. And we had a lot more sponsors than just them. Uh, you can kind of see we have a, a poster here with uh, with their logos and, and we'll be thanking them in our newsletter and online. So, uh, so please uh, help us appreciate all of them as well. So also want to thank people who are out there helping us on the course. We can't do it without volunteers. Um, Jennifer McCoy on our board uh, really helped coordinate that. We had um, a lot of uh, familiar faces from past years from Apex. Yeah, we had so many, uh, I mean, a huge thank you to Jennifer McCoy. She's, I mean, she's oh, yeah. our volunteer director. She's yeah. also our newest board member. Uh, invaluable to us, absolutely comes through whenever we need her. And uh, she sat out there in the heat and was raising money with raffle tickets and uh, amazing. And then of course we had so many people from the Apex Austin office there, uh, you know, donating their time, which is so valuable. Uh, and it means so much that all of you came out and hopefully y'all had a great time too. Yeah, it's worth noting. I mean, this tournament's on a Friday, you know, it's not on a weekend. Um, so people take their time off uh, to golf in it and to help us out there as volunteers. Uh, they take off of work and we know everyone's really busy. I mean, it's still a busy time of year. So uh, big thanks to all you guys. Uh, it was great seeing you and, uh, and we know you sweated it out with us. <laughs> a little bit warmer than usual this year. A little bit. It was, it was steamy. One thing we can't control and everyone knows this has just been a, a hot summer. But, um, yeah. but regardless, everyone still came and, and golfed and helped and the sponsors still came through for us. So huge yeah. success. Huge success. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we, we, you know, got all of our cash and all the checks and all the silent auction and all of that stuff combined. You know, we did $50,000, which I mean, talk about, you know, huge success. That's what our goal was to start and we met our goal. So we just can't thank all of you enough and um, just meant the world to us to have all of you come out full field. It was a pretty great day, regardless of the heat. Really amazing, $50,000, yeah, to gross that amount for this tournament, um, it just, uh, it takes my breath away. It's so awesome. I mean, really thank you. I, you know, friends of mine are out there, a lot of Tony's friends and family, and then people we've just met along the way since we started Tony Foundation. Yeah. How cool. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a lot of people that missed out on this tournament this yeah. year. And, you know, we, we felt bad for the people that missed out, but we sold out four months in advance. And I think we're going to try to do our best uh, going into next year's tournament to put out as much, you know, marketing to everybody that's been there in the past and try to make sure that everybody knows when the tournament is and, and put a sense of urgency on it because we don't want anybody to miss out on it. But at the end of the day, it's, it's inevitable and we know we'll see you again at a future event. So thank you for your support, everyone. And, and I guess some people may, you know, may want to know who won the tournament. Yeah, there's that, yeah. Um, you know, second place was our winner from last year was McCoy's Building Supply. Art and Mike Heaps and these guys and David Dollar. Larry Gross, appreciate you guys. Great playing, and uh, I know you wanted first place, but you know this year that went to LPS Green Technologies, Lenny and the boys. So congrats, guys. You know, and everybody knows who these guys are. You know, McCoy's has has been a, a winner in that tournament uh, several times before, and so you know the golfers know what top teams are. And then Lenny and his team, he he's won it up in Dallas, yeah. a Dallas tournament. He's so, won our uh, tee off on cancer. 
That's right. That's right. Josh and, and their team, uh, uh, so good. I mean, they played just yeah. outstanding. You know, we Which, were, by the way, the tee off on cancer in Dallas, our third annual, is Friday, March 17th, 2023. That date's already set. And uh, we'll be looking for signups, you know, come late fall, early winter. So that's right. stay tuned. Also, we cannot forget uh, about the legends of our tournament. They are absolutely in the Tony Foundation Hall of Fame for our golf tournaments. And it was the top women's team. We had a lot of women's groups out there on Friday. Yeah. It was impressive. They all wear matching clothes. It's awesome. They come dressed to impress, and they certainly do. And first place team, again, for the fifth year in a row, was Bobby's team, Bobby, Laura, Tracy, and Jean Reynolds. I mean, talk about an all-star uh, cast. Bobby man. Schuster, you know, she's been a supporter of, us, of ours for years. Yeah. Um, based out of San Antonio, comes up and they and they just dominate this they tournament. Do. That's they just do. what they do, they dominate. They you know, a great job. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that, you know, the last few years, uh, the country club that they're a member of in San Antonio, Santerra, they've been a huge supporter of Tony Foundation. And, you know, we've received a lot of donations from uh, a charity thing that they do every fall, and it's been uh, very meaningful to us. So we thank you guys, and congrats on winning again. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Good job, ladies. Well done. Well done. And we also had a lot of big prizes out there this time. Yes. Uh, we had... Some good raffle stuff. We had some good silent auction stuff. We really appreciate everybody that donates items. Um, certainly our silent auction guy, he does a fabulous job of following up with everyone. And we hope everybody got something that they wanted. Um, we know we had the Port A vacation, which our buddy uh, Kevin Stram won. So congrats to Kevin. And then Tito's and Consuela, we also had some gift packages from them. And, and a lot of people were interested in those. So that was a lot of fun. So. Uh, Mr. Fincher won the Tito's basket, and Mr. Andy Adams won the uh, Consuela bag. So congrats, guys. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much the wrap-up for, for Austin. That's right? a wrap, you know, and uh, you know, Tony mentioned the, uh, the tournament in Dallas. You want to mark your calendars, but also even closer, uh, for the first time this year, we're having a tournament in San Antonio. Yes, our inaugural BRAC tournament, Birdies Rise Above Cancer. Uh, we thought that was kind of creative. It's on November 11th, which happens to be Veterans Day as well. Uh, we've definitely had a few veterans that we've helped here at Tony Foundation and our first uh, 90 families, and we kind of uh, you know want to honor some of them, but also uh, we just really wanted to represent for so many of our San Antonio donors uh, to have a tournament that's a little closer to home for all of you. Um, we appreciate so many of you that have come to Austin, uh, but now we're coming to San Antonio, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So sign up. It's on our website under events, and we'd love to have you there. Yeah, yeah. We've already got about 20 or so teams signed up, so still spots available, um, but we're hoping it fills up, just like the Austin one, just like the Dallas one. So uh, so if you're thinking of playing, you know, sign up today. Yeah, it should be a fun one. That's a noon shotgun, and, and hope to see you there. So, uh, And then the last thing, you know, is we're coming up on our 100th family really soon. And it's a special thing because, you know, Scott and I started this a few years ago and uh, thinking we'd help a few families here and there. And now we're moving at a much higher rate. And uh, the fact that we've already helped 93 families and counting, it's pretty special. So we'll be there pretty soon and look out for that in the fall. And hopefully we're gonna do some special stuff for that. Yeah, you know, we can't do that without you guys. So really a, a great occasion not just for us, but for everybody involved in, in Tony Foundation, all the donors, all the volunteers, sponsors, in these golf tournaments and these other events. Uh, we just can't thank you enough, and the yeah. families really thank you too, so. Absolutely, can't do it without you guys. We love you, thank you for your support, and hope to see you all very soon. Take care.